Edison. He's what you call a lime. I think liming is my second life. And it don't mean he wants to be out all the time enjoying himself. It just means he enjoys sitting, having a good time, relaxing with friends. And coming from Trinidad, living in London, one thing that he always missed was the carnival. And when I came to England, I wanted to create that atmosphere that was back in Trinidad that didn't exist on the streets. So he always played carnival on the Monday, playing in the pretty costume, enjoying himself. But in Trinidad, we have something called Juve, um, and in Navima especially, something called Ditty Mask, where you don't dress up, but you cover yourself in paint or mud, and you have a really good time. The carnival didn't have a proper Ditty Mask band, and I'm Juve, and Ditty Mask is my, is my rule. And because of how it's done and where it is, it's always a small group of people that play Ditty Mask, and you tend to know all the people around you. And Edison was missing this kind of, I don't know, closeness, you know, identity, a way of connecting to home and bringing the experience here to um, our lives in London. So we started, decided, we decided to do a dirty mask band, but we couldn't find mud or grease. And I came up with the idea to use chocolate due to the fact that there was so much more interesting things you can do with chocolate. They don't want to put on costume, they don't want to go and just play in t-shirts, they want to do something different. And they thought, oh, let's try chocolate. So we came up with the idea, or well, I came up with the idea in 95, 96, and we came on the road in 97 with six of us. So that first year, um, I think it was seven or eight of them went off on the road. And that was the start of chocolate. Sunday. It's what it what goes on today? Chocolate, Chocolate mass. Chocolate mass, you understand? I have the breakfast ready, some substance, you know, some to put something on the belly so they could drink and they could wine and they could enjoy themselves, you understand? We have roast bake, we have fried bake, salt fish, bacon, cheese, homemade bread, tea, cocoa tea, <laughs> coffee, you understand? We're here. It's just, you know, it's just starting to pick up very soon. All these pretty, you know, colors are gonna be. <laughs> What's gonna happen with it? Chocolate! 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 chocolate. chocolate. So, chocolate. Where we get the best chocolate lime? Pure lime! <laughs> Don't know. menu for the carnival um, it's it's quick food it's you know for, for the breakfast we're gonna be having fry bake with salt fish roast bakes with salt fish or cheese as a filling we're gonna have some lovely tea from Dalgetty original Caribbean teas for the lunch we're gonna be having pilau chicken pilau with some green pigeon peas coconut milk pumpkin thyme Scotch bonnet pepper all boiled up, some nice rice, that's going to be lovely, you're going to see that a bit later on. We're also going to have some chow as we call it in Trinidad. In other islands they call it mango in sauce or pineapple in sauce but you get a hint, you know where I'm coming from. This is just, it acts as a cutter, you know when you're drinking and you get that nice pepper taste, comes out to you, it gives you that feeling to go and have something again. So tune in my Caribbean people. We are in London, we're getting ready for the carnival. Look how Caribbean people do it. We enjoy ourselves anywhere we are. Boom!
simple. So the process is going on. Right now we're just frying up the bakes. As we call them in Trinidad, some islands call them floats. In Jamaica they fry them wrong and they call them fried dumplings. So as you see, we're just placing them in the oil. When you're cooking for 600 plus people, you gotta have some big equipment. We're here just in my backyard, a production kitchen, and you can see what's been going on for the day, you know? When you fry them, you wanna get a nice golden color. You see, look at it, beautiful. Fresh, hot. This one, nice and hollow inside. You can see inside there. We're just gonna fill that up. You can put any kind of filling, it's, it's down to you. This is what I call this breakfast is gonna be the boom bang special. Make sure they have the energy for enjoying themselves in Nothing Hill Carnival. You're nearly there. We're almost ready to feed the people, okay? So you stay tuned and see how we're gonna finish this with some saltfish bourgeois. Also gonna be filling some with some cheese. Don't say please, because I can't give this some to you, but hopefully you'll be somewhere where I am and I'm gonna cook some good food for you. Boom, bam. Nigerian, definitely, you know this thing. chocolate and they had this cozy which is almost like an old-fashioned um, bedpan and they had a, a, a Snickers bar in there and they were pouring rum on it and drinking it drinking from this bedpan and people in the street were watching them like they were mad but they had a fantastic time the second year a few more friends wanted to play and I think the second year we had 20 people the third year we printed 50 t-shirts. I remember ordering the t-shirts. Last year, officially, we had, I would say, 600 members. But what tends to happen is, you know, for various reasons, people turn up late, they come on the morning to buy. Normally on the day, we have about a thousand people on the road. So apparently now there's chocolate bands all over the world. A couple of them who have actually spoken to me before they went into existence. So apparently it is the new, new thing for carnival. Keep attracting more and more people or the family just gets bigger somebody tells their friend they tell their cousin you know they bring the children around when they realize how safe it is and you know I expect that the numbers will be the same again this year the funny thing is because even though the size of the band's gotten bigger the mentality or the attitude or the vibe in the band stayed the same because it's all about knowing people and having a good time so you have, you know, old people, young people, you know, people from all parts of the world. We've got people coming in from Brazil, people from Germany. We've got an old couple, Mavis, she's been on the road now with us, you know, for the last few years. Mavis is 89 and she stays with us all day. My nephew came out the first time with us when he was um, two and a half, three years old. It's not a young people thing. It's not a Trinidadian thing. It's not a, you know, you could only be in this band if you're in the know. 
it's something that anybody could come in and enjoy. But everybody who comes in, I think, and this is what we hope, they feel as though they're part of the chocolate family. And they just have a good time. Yeah, this is the chicken here for the paint out. We have this bean marinade. This is our green seasoning. We have um, shadow benny or coriander, garlic ginger, some spring onions or chai, what do you call it? Just a bit of black pepper, salt, and some tomatoes. The secret of any good pot, especially with meats or fish, is the marinade. This is going to be marinated overnight. Then we're going to be using it along with some green pigeon peas, carrots, and rice to make a lovely big boom bang pillow. <laughs> Stay tuned. In what you want me to put my food in your container? In what you want me to put my food in your container? In what you want me to put my food in your container? In what you want me to put my food? You want the banana without skin, you want the pumpkin without skin, you want the plantain without skin, you want the dashing without skin. And then I tell me something, just now my auntie come in, come and let me put the rest this of This is the most amazing pillow I've ever had in my life! I can't stop eating! Like chocolate, like chocolate. So we're here, we're going to be making the pineapple chow. I described what it's used for on the road. I'm not, now we're going to show you how it's made. We have the fresh pineapple pieces here. I'm actually going, these are, if you watch, these are the seeds and the heart of the pepper. I'm using that with some of the fresh pepper. I'm just going to chop that up. This is going to be very, very hot. Chocolate. But that's how they requested it. Chocolate. Chocolate. And you see I'm using gloves. So I don't want any mistakes to happen. I don't want to scratch my eyes or anywhere. Coriander is what we use as a substitute in the UK. It gives the same taste, the flavor is just a little lighter, but we just need to use a bit more. So, get a few spoons of that in there. Feeling the heat. Some black pepper. Some salt. It's getting close. We are nearly there. We are almost finished with the chow. Very simple. Time to get my hands in. You know. As you saw earlier on, we squeeze some lime. Fresh lime goes in there. This is this is it. People, this is it. Look at it. I'm sweating. And I haven't even tasted it yet. So that's telling you what's going on in here. They asked for it, huh? so what is what are you gonna get? This is my Hassan before HD pepper sauce. Come into a shop near you. Boom.
of chocolate Yeah, you really nice, I just want that Just give me a piece of chocolate Woman, give me a I see Bajan flavor I've seeing Jamaica There's one thing that I remember I think it was the first year that we, I suppose, went really big and, you know, the growth of it surprised us. We just never expected it to take off like that. It was, um, it must have been probably the fifth or sixth day. We were with the band organizing and, you, you know, your head's down trying to get the band mood, making sure everything's okay. And Edison and I were talking and we started walking, talking, and turned to look back at the band. And that's when it kind of struck us how big it had gotten and the size of the band. And then I turned around and looked at Edison and he had this look on his face and it's a look that new fathers get sometimes when they turn around and they see their children and they have this look and oh my god I did this. It was this, you know, surprise but proud, please, you know, expression on his face. It's like, this is mine, I did this and look at how, you know, where we've gotten to. I think that was one of, that was one of my memories, you know, over the years of Edison's pride and what he's um, formed and joined. Um, and then the only other thing that, from a personal level, that I really like about chocolate is as a Trinidadian living in London and bringing up children in the British society um, and wanting them to understand their roots and their heritage, is that at Carnival they feel comfortable, they feel part of something that they don't get when they're at home in, you know, North London or South London or Cheshire or Leeds or whatever part of England they live. But when they're in that band, they're part of that extended family and they understand the history and the culture of Trinidad then more so. And I think it helps with their growth of growth and their development to know that you always have that big festival to come and be part of um, because it makes them feel that they understand some of their parents' heritage and history and they don't get that opportunity otherwise. Yes, Caribbean people, once again, it's me, Chef Hassan Defoe, and I'm getting ready for chocolate mass. We're getting ready for Notting Hill Carnival. I'm in the process of getting the stuff for my corn soup, which is... I call it people in people. It gives you that bitter extra energy that you will need on the street, you know, to give you that go to, so you could balance, you could whine, you could take advantage of the stage, you could get on whatless, as they say, trample it, you could do what you want with this corn soup because you have energy. We starting off here, we just burst in some yellow spit peas. This is almost here. I'm gonna blend this down. To that, I'm gonna add some corn. We, got, we have some stock that we're gonna be making up with carrots, some spring onions, garlic, all the good stuff, you know, the stuff that you might not like, but I'm going to show you how way, I'm going to put it in this soup, bring it together with some coconut milk and stuff, some green seasoning, and bet your bottoms dollar, you're going to love it. <laughs> so tune in and see how we carry on. Some more super seasoning. This here is a just a basic pumpkin soup mix. Add a little bite. The idea behind doing this is once we add the water. This comes together. We bring this to the boil. This is going to create that corn stock flavor that will enhance the pot of soup. We're going to add that to it with some coconut milk, some of the yellow split peas that you see me bursting, some potatoes. Going to be adding dumpling, which is a must in any soup. 
in the Caribbean or in the world if it's a Caribbean person cooking it. So we're just gonna let this come together. Bring this up to the boil and then check back. I'll tell you what's going on next. It's corn soup time! Don't sleep, you better get in line. Don't stay behind. Join and come and take a wine, it's carnival, boom. <laughs> Especially living in, in England or in London for not just Trinidadians but people who have you know come in from somewhere else. You're away from home, you're missing a connection because life, the pace of life is so quick and is so fast that even though you have your friends at work and you have you know your personal friends, you don't have the big group, you don't have the comfort feel you have when you're living at home with your parents and you have your whole school network and your family network around you and chocolate kind of gives that because you're part of something big but everybody's just as important as everybody else and everybody in the band or you know we hope and this is something we always try and ensure that happens everybody respects everybody else in the band so you do feel that you are part of something so it's it's like you're allowed to relax and let your hair down and, and you know enjoy yourself but you know you're going to be taken care of because if you trip, somebody will help you up. If you, if you, you know, thirsty, somebody will give you a bottle of water. And you see people, you know, talking to complete strangers. But you know, and you see them dancing for two, three hours after that. And there's no other opportunity in, in well, that I can think of in London or living in, you know, some of these big cities that you can, you can be that relaxed and be that comfortable, but still be safe. And chocolate, you know, everybody loves chocolate. You know, it helps, you know, relax your inhibitions. And it's not relaxing inhibitions in terms of behaving badly. It's relaxing and relaxing inhibitions in the sense that you are open to meeting and you know getting to the new make new friends. Lime is the ultimate in fun. And if you understand a line, that's what chocolate is. We provide the ultimate in fun. We give you a good time. We have food, we have drink, we have the atmosphere, we have the music, we have friends. So we are not just a band that sells to make money. 90% of the band are friends. Friends who bring friends to meet friends. So it is my back garden party brought onto the street. And I think that's where we, our atmosphere, our feeling comes from. It's basically the backyard where we have our little drinks and food moved onto the street and everybody else's backyard come and join up with my backyard and we have a good time and that's where we operate from. I think that's the secret of your life. We have most of the ingredients here. We have the carrots, there's celery, there's leeks. Just gonna add some scotch bonnets. Just gonna bring that up. And some of the magic leaves, some bay leaves. Give that nice aromatic flavor to the pot. Looks good to eat already. Beautiful colors of the Caribbean. 
They don't know what they have coming their way, as I say. I'm, next, I'm just gonna get some of the potatoes boiled off in this pot. Later on, we bring it all together, and you're gonna have some of the best soup. Or you're gonna see, because you might be having it, some of the best soup in the world. Boom! Well, unfortunately, I'll be in the kitchen. I won't be liming and whining. But tomorrow, don't look for me. <laughs> yeah, the road, man. I'll be on the road. My friends, if you're looking for me. Bye bye, the chef is out. <laughs> <laughs>